I've been asked, what would be the fundamental supplement that one would take during developmental stages to optimize development and, and metabolism? And I'd have to say, you know, I've done this for my children since infants to supply essential and or conditionally essential fatty acids. Primarily the conditionally essential. Remember, these are not essential. Fish fats are not essential. Fish oils, EPA, DHA, icosapentaenoic acid, dicosahexaenoic acid. Those are two fats that are omega-3 fats considered to be anti-inflammatory in nature. And they're not directly anti-inflammatory, but they create an anti-inflammatory effect in the body, offsetting the omega-6 fats that can contribute to inflammation. And I'll tell you how this works real quickly. As you develop, the body takes these essential fatty acids, ALA, omega-3, and LA, omega-6, that's linoleic acid, and alpha-linolenic acid, which is the omega-3, and it converts them downstream into fats that are building blocks for tissues and enzymes that activate different processes in the body. DHA is a building block for cognitive tissue, neurological tissue. We've known that for a while. And here's what happens as you age, especially as in infancy, if DHA is not available in significant quantities, the body can limit availability of DHA to the peripheral tissues to make sure the central nervous system gets enough DHA for development. And this means you can compromise growth development physically of the child and the body will do that to make sure it gets what it needs for central nervous system development, brain development. And in fact, you know, with my kids since infancy, I put purified DHA in their milk, breast milk when extracted. And today, till today, even at ages, you know, 15, 16 for Mateo and uh, ages 24 and now Mia, she's independent, so it's up to her to take it because uh, she's on her independent life. But every, every day to every second day, a tablespoon to two tablespoons of EPA DHA in the form of fish oil because you need to keep that cognitive development going, that brain tissue development going. And if enough of that is available, enough of the DHA and EPA is available, then the body will actually develop as well. There's no compromise activity. Of course, you need protein and other substances, cofactors, and a whole slew of things that need to be supplied. But that DHA and EPA, in my opinion, are critical because they are not essential, they're conditionally essential, but they're downstream of the essential fats in the body. And I talked about this a little while ago. If not available, development slows down. So you need to supply EPA and DHA on a regular basis and abundantly throughout the day, every day, as early as you can in the child's life for optimal growth and brain development.